us a starting live video with the black as a ace of spades. Well, I've, set, <coughs> I've certainly got a lockdown air cup going on there. Look at that. Do a James and tap me saying up before it goes live. One person. Hey, that's Magnus. I'm sure that's Magnus. Ricky Koziak. Help, Magnus. Help, Ricky. Nice to see you, Magnus. I'm doing something nice and easy today, mate. Nice and easy. No legend in tonight. Help, Luciano, mate. You alright, buddy? We'll just uh, see if one or two more join. I'm not really bothered if anybody joins or not. All it is, I, I put a post on this morning trying to get uh, little spoons and big spoons and some uh, non chili heads to come and join us and just have a bit of fun because it all seems to be uh, big guys that are burning and melting the face off. And so... I put that post on this morning, hoping that we could attract one or two more. And bless her, Heather come on and did one this morning. But I haven't seen a great deal more. So, I'm just trying to... Uh, help Crazy Ann. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you over here, lass. Brilliant. Big Greg and no? all. Big Greg. Now, this is the big challenge now. No, no challenge, mate. All we're going to do is some little, uh, hey son, how you doing James? All we're going to do is some reviews of some products that you've all seen. Mr Vicky's, we've got a couple of them we can give it a go. We've got one I found in cupboard that I didn't know were un unwrapped. Unwrapped? Unopened. So we'll give that a go. And we've got, I think, is it Dan Reed? Chili of the Valley, we've got that one. I think the four's plenty. And all it is, is to try and get, like I said, one or two at, uh, new members, non chili head members, any of them. Just try and get them in. Try and show them that you don't have to melt your face off. You don't have to burn and, and suffer and cry like we all do, or I do. Most of the big chili heads don't. It's just me that sobs and weeps and kicks my legs in air because I burn a lot. So, thought what we'd do. I don't really know how to start these because I haven't read them. So, we'll start off with Mr. Vicky's, Mr. Vicky's Lime Pickle. I'm assuming that this is going to be a... How come all big guys are in? I'm sure I've just seen Dustin go past and all. Big Frank, Dustin, James Nixon, Magnus the Titan, they're all in. What's happening? It's supposed to be little diddly ones. Anyway, let's try let's try this lime pickle first. Ah. I don't think that's gonna be very mild. Smells exactly like the lime pickle that you get in curry houses when you get pickle tray. It actually smells. Lovely does that. So what we'll do, we normally play Big Spoon, Little Spoon, but nobody will play with me. So I'm going to start off with Little Spoon on this jar, because Big Spoon won't go in. And that's my uh, Grandpa Nook Spoon that I got as a birthday present off RG. Bless her heart. So we'll give this a try. Well, might as well have done a Big Spoon. Nice and chunky. Smells gorgeous. Looks lovely. That is beautiful. On your side, as a side to your curry, even you non chili no, well, maybe not a non chili head, but a little spoon would murder that. That is absolutely... That is beautiful. 
That ain't gonna last long at all, that. That is gorgeous. By the way, I didn't have to send for these. The shop I bought these at is less than four minutes from our house. And it's Chili Wizards. Get on their website. They've got everything up there. And if they haven't got it, they'll get it for you. They've got oak from... Well, it's worth going in just to have a look because they've got glasses and skulls and ornaments and just about every producer is on their shelves. They've got every product going. And then I saw this, Banana Rabanero. And I can't remember who it was. It was either Dell that were reviewing it or it were Alex and Vicky that were reviewing it. I'm sure it was. And they were raving about it. So I saw it on shelf today and I thought I'd get it. Banana Rabanero pickle. Fresh bananas. No shit, Sherlock. Sugar, rapeseed oil, vinegar, cream coconut, fenugreek seeds, that's a new one, salt, mustard seeds, fresh ginger, red habaneros, 2%, dried chilies, green cardamom, and nigella seeds and spices, for allergy advice, blah, blah, blah. So we'll give this, we'll give this a quick go. Nice little pop. Don't smell like banana to me. In fact, I haven't got a clue what that smells like. Vinegar. Just vinegar and spices. Bug it, be clean, we'll spoon. So we'll just give that a little try. No heat at all. Well, no heat to me. Don't get me wrong. No heat to me. But if I gave that to Jack, it'd probably blow her head off. But no heat whatsoever to me. Maybe a one. Maybe a one for me. But the taste is outstanding. You get banana. And all these spices that I've just read out to you. It is, it is lovely. Lovely, chunky pickle. Well, I think it's a pickle. Somebody say what you'd have it on, because I don't know what I'd have that on. I'd just eat that out at jammy as a snack. That really is nice. I not actually say. Oh, just a minute. Oh, yeah. Great with curries, in sandwiches, or to spice up any meal time. And he's got it right, really. It would go with anything, would that? I can't actually think what it wouldn't go with. It says medium to hot heat. So, obviously... I must have a little bit of tolerance somewhere because I don't get any heat whatsoever. I might get a one off that. That lime pickle were well, possibly a one to a two. Uh, but I am a little bit used to some hot stuff, so I guess that's why. I think they'd be up for a non chili head, but for a little spoon, they'd, hand they'd handle that really easy. So we'll go on to. This one now, and this is uh, Steam Dixon Hot Pods, and it's Dark Fusion. Mole Hot Sauce, what does Mole Hot Sauce mean, Stephen? No idea. Uh, heat Guide, oh, this is a mild one as well, two and a half, two and a half out of five. A Mexican mole inspired smoke oh nice smoky barbecue sauce combining Belgian beer, blackberries and chocolate with the heat of super dry hot chilies. Try on chicken with rice or as a glaze on ribs. Could have done with that yesterday when we had barbecue. 
Actually, I did make my own marinade up at the time, so... Right, we'll give this a try. Magnus is still there, he hasn't abandoned me yet. I bet all other big ones have abandoned me. There'll be nobody left. But again, this is this is aimed at you little guys, to be honest with you. To show you don't have to burn. Just come on, show us a plant. Show us what you like. Have a taste of summer if you want to have a taste of summer. You don't have to burn. Just just come on. I refuse to have all hot on this one, so you, you'll watch figures go down in a minute as this... As they realise, I'm not going to melt my face off. <sighs> you know, I can't understand why I... My sense of smell is pretty crap at the moment. I would just try to see if there's any liquid smoker out in that, because I like smoky, but... No, there's no liquid smoke at all. So let's, let's give it a try anyway. I've never had a bad sauce from hot pot. Ooh, nice pour. I've never had a a bad sauce from hot pot, so... Full spoon guy. I don't know. Don't know what to knock it. Yeah, you can see it there. So we'll give this one a taste. I am still full of cold. I've had it for about bloody six weeks now, but... I don't know what that smells of either, like that last one. I'm, I'm useless at the moment. Give it a taste anyway. <laughs> That's lovely, I know. Very sweet. Now then. Now then. That is lovely. I'm trying to work out which you the heat is just building now. That that's up to that's up to a two on me, is that so to a non chili head it'll be it'd be like a four or five to a non chili head. To a small spoon it'll be a good it'd be a good three, four will that. And heat's holding. It's lined the mouth as that one. It's lovely as that. It's lovely and sweet. With the barbecue overtones on it. But that's literally lined the mouth. Nothing in throat. But a lovely warming sensation in mouth. That is a gorgeous sauce. That heat is still building a little bit. It ain't it going to go above a two for me. But that would be absolutely spot on. On any of your barbecue stuff, would that? That is gorgeous. That is a, that is a nice, nice sauce. Is that? That really is a nice sauce. Well done, Stephen Dixon. Trying to pour with your wrong hand, it's almost impossible, isn't it? Ah, that's going to overflow. Again, I apologise for not being able to tell you what it smells like, but you can see, um. Totally blocked up. Anybody who likes barbecuing, that'd make a fantastic marinade or a glaze or just straight onto your burgers, your sausages, out like that. That is, that is, that's as good as his night tonic. And that night on it lasted me about two meals. So that is, that's a belting one, Stephen Dixon, is that? And I've only opened these because I've managed to use up most of what's in my fridge. So there you go, guys. Hot pods. Hot pods and Mr. Vicky's. Get them checked out. So far, so good. They've been, they've been really nice of them. The heat isn't dropping away. That's why. That's what I like about that one. Some of these milder sauces, heat just disappears. Now I don't find it hot, but you can see I'm getting a sweat on with it. So it's a belt of that, and I liked both of them, Mister Vicky's. So now to Chile of the Valley. I think that says jolly. <coughs> A mild 
Oh, right. Jackie, you won't be kissing me tonight. A mild and stinky jalapeno and garlic based sauce. Ingredients jalapenos, white wine vinegar, garlic, onions, water, lime juice, sugar, salt, and coriander. And now I've read that even in these glasses, I don't know, because if you look, writing's that tiny, you need a magnifying glass for that. Sorry, Stephen Dixon, I've just done yours, you've had it. It's gone. Yours has gone, Stephen Dixon. We did Dark Fusion, mate. You'll have to watch it back, actually, and see what critique you got on that one, mate. So, just get this open. Give this one, oh, great. Give this one a try. Ah, we're in. We're in. Ooh, tomatoes and garlic. Tomatoes, it there's no tomatoes in it, is there? There's no tomatoes in that. That's good, I can smell tomatoes. I haven't been able to smell out in anything else and I can smell tomatoes in that and the ain't none. I smell garlic though, that is going to be a stinker, is that one? Uh, we'll give that a good shake because... Oh, that's plugged it. Great. Still plugged. It's not plugged now. Oh, gold. Oh, that's got some garlic in it, as that. It is Dano's Chili of the Valley, isn't it? Somebody tell me. I'm sure it's Dan Reed. Oh, look at the garlic in that. Oh, man. Can you see? I can't do this. Can you see that, guys? You can't, can you? Hold on. Look at the garlic in that. Oh, that's a class, class act, isn't it? Right. God, there's some garlic in that. Well, it's garlic and jalapeno, isn't it? That is literally what it says on the bottle. Garlic, jalapeno and vinegar. It is quite vinegary, is that one. If you don't like vinegar, you might not like that. If you do like vinegar, you're going to love that. That is that is a gorgeous tasting sauce. That would be fantastic on chips for our Sienna. It would be fantastic on chips for anyone. But... As a salad dressing, I reckon, or, well, again, anything that you'd have garlic with, you'd use that for. It's a belter, is that? I like that. And it, once I unplugged it, you can see it's a lovely pour a look. No, oh, you can't see. I'm crap on camera. I do apologise, guys. I'm absolutely rubbish on camera. But I tend to watch what I'm doing, not watch, watch what you guys are doing. So there you go. If you like garlic, with a hint of heat, again, very, very mild. It's just quite vinegary. I'll tell you now, that one is quite vinegary. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, because I love it. I do like that. I'd have that on fish and chips even, but I've got a weird sense of taste anyway. But again, not one to burn your face off. On me, it scrapes a one. On a non chili head, I reckon a three. On a chili head, it'd be like one. Beautiful, really nice again. So there you go guys, that's all four with four sauces we've done tonight. Again, reason I came on to boil your look at consistency of that and look at all look at it all. It's like one of them one of them fountains you shake and watch it all go down. It's absolutely rammed with product is that. Well they all are. 
they all are. All four of them I would absolutely highly recommend. Chile of the Valley, Mr. Vicky's and Hot Pods. Fantastic. Every single one of them is beautiful. And every single one of them, one of your little spoons, you'd love them. So, again, like I said, the reason I came on tonight is to let you new members or you members that think, oh, I'd, I'd like to do a review, but I don't do all that's hot. You don't have to do all that's hot. The idea is fun. Come on, have some fun. Enjoy yourself. Act daft. You've seen James Nixon, he gets away with it. <laughs> Sorry, son, I had to get it in. <laughs> Here's a weed after. So, joking apart, come and have a go. Come and join us. Remember, as well, if you're not a spoon, if you come on, if you haven't got a shirt, just put a, just put a sign on, nuke, and then you get onto tables, do a video, get a point. Get up them tables, have some fun. We all have to start somewhere. Even this old person. So I don't think I've all else to say, really. I don't know whether you've enjoyed it, you think I'm puddled or what. I don't care. We were here for fun. Here to try and attract you guys. You little spoons, big spoons. I mean, ladles. Ladles aren't even coming on anymore. They've all bottled it. Because golden ladles keep doing their thing. So ladles are all backed out. And it all gets left to all big lads to do it. So us, us little ones, we sit there, we just don't join in. So it's time to get your little spoon out. Or be brave and get your big spoon out. But you don't have to burn. You don't even have to try out. Just come on. Just come on and have some fun. We miss you all. This is what Nuke's about. Nuke family. Family Nuke. So there you go, guys. I'll go. I'm probably boring you all to death. And if I'm not, that's good. All right. Grandpa Nuke still. Or Grandpa Nuke. Or still. Or oi you. Get off. Your time's up. <laughs> all right, guys. All I'll say is stay safe, look after each other, look after yourselves. Remember, it's family nuke, but family nuke is family fun. All right, guys. Love you all. See you later. <laughs>